don't buy another designer bag until you have seen this video. I'm going to be sharing with you 19 of the latest releases or being released very soon bags. I also have some Instagram poll results, so whether they are hot or not, and make sure you stay tuned until the end of the video because I have some surprising results. The bag that came out with the most votes and also a bonus bag that has well and truly made its way onto my wish list when and if it's released. The first bag is the new Saint Laurent ES travel bag. So this is a really large bag and it has a zipper going around the front. It also has YSL features on the front, but this is in leather. So it's a little bit more subtle than the Icar tote bag. So here is my Icar tote bag, for example, and this one has the gold metal plaque on the front. This does not have that. It is in a leather, but it comes at a very similar price point. I think this would actually make, like it's called a great travel bag, but also I know a lot of you've mentioned you would like this as a gym bag. However, it will come at quite the cost. This one retails at $4,700 in the US and £3,530 currently in the UK. Now, the poll results have suggested that this is, some people love it and some people really don't like it. 64% of people said thumbs down and 36% of people said it looks like a great bag. Before we dive into the second bag, hey everyone, my name is Steph. If you are new here and are a lover of all things luxury, make sure you join us by hitting the subscribe button down below because we get it and not everyone does. I will of course pop links in the description box for you so that you can shop this video really easily. And if you would like to take part in future polls like this and see some of the latest releases, if you aren't already, make sure you follow me over on Instagram. My handle is at handbag underscore holic. The second bag is a new release from Saint Laurent. Again, this is the Pochon bag. I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing this correctly. Pochon, Pochon. Either way, I quite like this bag. Again, it's very much this kind of similar vibe that we have seen with the YSL Icar tote bag. I really like that this one has a drawstring at the top. I think it's just going to make the leather look really beautiful, especially when it's pulled in. Now, this one does, again, have a hefty price tag, but not quite as hefty as the ES travel bag that we've just seen. This one retails at $3,600. 66% of you gave this a thumbs down, but 34% a thumbs up. So very similar to the last bag. The third bag is available currently to purchase, but good luck trying to get your hands on one. This is the new Chanel 22 mini size. Now the 22 bag has been growing on me in general, but I think the mini size, and this is why a lot of people are liking it, it's just smaller proportions, I think look really cute for this. And also the fact that it has a longer strap so you can cross body or shoulder it. We've actually got the exact same results, which surprised me slightly as the Saint Laurent Pouchon bag. 66% of people gave this a thumbs down and 34 gave it a thumbs up. Let me know what you think in the comments, but again, this one comes with a Chanel sized price tag. $5,000 this currently retails at, but again, they can be very hard to get. Around £4,350 in the UK. The fourth bag is the Bottega Bonetta mini sardine bag. So the sardine bag has been around for a while, but the mini size is relatively new, and I've seen quite a few people talk about this one. Now, I did try this on in store recently, and it was a very cute bag, but I must say, like, the fish like the sardine at the top is quite a heavy piece of metal and unless it's on a stand this kind of just flops down so for me this one is definitely a no but I can see the appeal like it is quite cute this one retails at $3,100 and has actually scored better than the Chanel mini 22 bag with 63% giving it a thumbs down and 37% giving this one a thumbs up Bag number five is another one from Bottega. This is the new Andiamo tote bag. This one retails at $4,100 for the small size. And again, I have seen these in person and I can say, I do actually really like this one. I like that it is so understated. We don't have any logos anywhere. It does come in a variety of colors. And the little not metal detail on here, I think is gorgeous, but I think you guys think differently because this one was a not. 72% of you said no to this one and only 28% gave this a thumbs up. Bag number six is from Ferragamo and this is the new Wanda bag. So this comes in, I've seen this in black, white and it also comes in an ombre orange color. Personally, I don't see it myself. Um, this is quite a different style of bag. It has like a rigid top handle. I don't think it would be very practical but I can see from a fashion sense 
how this one might work. It retails at $2,100. This, however, is a big no from you guys. You have voted 91% thumbs down and only 9% thumbs up. I can see why. I don't think this is going to be a practical piece. You really have to love one to add one to your collection. I won't be adding one to mine. The next bag is one that I have seen in person again, and honestly, it really surprised me. So if you haven't seen this in person, I definitely advise doing that first. This is the new Givenchy Vau bag. The small size retails at $1,500, the medium size $2,150. It also comes in a large size as well, which I think would actually work quite great for travel. We have these straps on the side and they, a lot of the colorways have different color hardware on, like a mixture of silver and gold. And there was something about this bag when I tried it on. I was like, it's so different from anything that I've got in my personal collection. Maybe that's why I quite like it, but it feels a little bit edgy. This has, however, been voted by 87% of you as a big thumbs down. I will say the biggest downside to this bag for me, the Vau, is that the medium and the large sizes don't have a closure. It literally, the bag folds over. The small size, however, does have a zip closure, but I think this bag looks really effective in the bigger sizes. Honestly, if it had a better closure and was more secure, this would be a definite thumbs up from me. The ninth bag on our list is one from Prada. This is the Antique Napa Leather Tote Bag. Again, I have seen this in person and it's very much playing up to the kind of trash bag trend. Like it's a designer, high-end, expensive piece that comes with the price tag along with it. This particular size retails at $3,950, but it's meant to look like it's not making an effort at all. 92% of you gave this a thumbs down and I can obviously see why I definitely wouldn't be parting with this much money on a bag that looks like this, but if it is your style, I can say I've seen this in person and the leather really was buttery soft. I think this looks better in person than it does online. The next bag is one for Amez lovers. This is a new mini Gypsy airbag. So the Gypsy airbag has been around for a long time, but it has never been brought out in a mini size before. And I 100% think that this bag, I've never really looked at, never considered, I think in the mini size, it's actually really cute and just the dimensions and the way the bag is made lends itself to this smaller size. It will set you back, however, around $7,400. So quite the investment if you can get your hands on one from Hermes. Now, 70% of you gave this a thumbs down and 30% gave it a thumbs up. I thought it would do better, honestly, and I personally cannot wait to try one on in person. The 10th bag on our list is one from Louis Vuitton. This is the new Tilsit bag. Now this kind of reminds me of the Pochette Matisse in the reverse monogram, but it's more angular, it seems more rigid, it has a top handle, and it's kind of a bit of a strange shape. Does anyone agree with me? 70% of you gave this a thumbs down, and only 28% gave this a thumbs up. This one retails at $2,640 in the US, and £1,890 in the UK. The next bag is from a brand that I don't talk about that much, but I quite like one of the colorways of this bag. This is the JW Anderson Chain Tote Bag. It retails at £550, $790 in the US. Now, when I shared a picture of this, 79% uh, of you gave it a thumbs down, and I can see why. This is the black and green color combination, which I don't think are two colors that work very well together. However, this does also come in a tan and yellow combination combination, which I think is way nicer. If you are looking for a tote bag with a bit of a twist and not a ridiculous price point either, this could be one to consider. The next bag is from Gucci, and I think Gucci might have been taking some inspiration from a mez with this one. This is the equestrian inspired bag. It is smooth leather, it is low key, it is not usually Gucci style, which is quite loud. We have no logos on this one, we just have, we have like a saddle kind of cut, which again, it reminds me a little bit of the Dior Bobby bag as well, and it has like a strap on the front. I quite like this. I feel like it's very on trend right now, like the boxy bags, the Celine Teen Triumph, for example. 76% of you, however, gave this a thumbs down and only 24% of people gave it a thumbs up. It retails at $3,790. And if you are wanting to get more into the silent or quiet luxury, which is the conversation happening right now, something that is a bit more timeless, a little bit more elegant, I think this is a really serious contender. I quite like it. 
like it. The next bag, or better yet, collection of bags that will be coming out, but I wanted to feature it in this video because it will be available soon from Louis Vuitton. I believe this will be coming out later in the year and I don't know prices yet. So again, if you are following me over on Instagram, when I do get updates like this, I share them on my stories. But we have this gorgeous new colorway being released of the monogram. It is like a gray on a darker gray with the Vachetta. And we have like a sign on the front. Now, when I shared this, a lot of you actually said to me, I really like this. However, I don't like the big Louis Vuitton kind of sign on the front of the bag. Um, this one here, I'm not sure if it's a keeple because we don't have leather going down. It looks like a keeple, but it could be a speedy 40. This one is probably one of our strongest contenders yet with 48% of you saying that you like this range and 52% of you saying it's a no from me. Bag number 14 is another one from Saint Laurent and I can see this one being incredibly popular. This one really split opinion with 50% of you giving this a thumbs up and 50% giving it a thumbs down. Now, this bag to me feels very much like the YSL puffer bag and the YSL Lulu bag, it kind of feels like an in-between of the two. And I definitely think I actually prefer the new Calypso bag to the puffer bag, very similar shapes, but I like the fact that this one doesn't have the quilting on. It is currently available to pre-order in black and white leather, I believe, but there's also a picture of a fabric one. So I've no doubt this will be coming out in lots of colors. But if you are looking for a classic kind of timeless piece from Saint Laurent, the Calypso could be a good choice. It retails at $2,850 in the US and £1,950 in the UK. Bag 15, again, this is going to be a new collection from Louis Vuitton. This is the Meteor collection and it features, I think this is black leather with like prints on it, the monogram print in like rainbow kind of iridescent colours, which I really like. I think this actually might be from the menswear range and this particular travel bag is going to retail at a hefty $4,950. I have no doubt there will be more pieces in this range though if you like this colorway. 76% of you gave this a thumbs down. The next bag has been spotted on the runway of the latest Louis Vuitton catwalk and it is this gorgeous trunk bag but it's in kind of a rounded shape rather than the square edges so it would work a lot better as a bag. Now this is definitely a collector's piece and I have been told it retails at around $13,000 in the US. I can't imagine it is going to be very practical, but it's probably one of our most loved bags so far, with 59% of you giving this a big thumbs up. The next bag is one from Bulgari, and this is the recently released Bayer shoulder bag. It retails at $2,750 in the US and it comes in a few colors. One of my favorites, and I've seen this in person, is the bright green color. It is gorgeous. If you are in the market for a shoulder bag, I think Bulgari and this particular bag in general, because it has a zip closure, it is going to be more secure. The quality of the bag just felt so amazing. I would definitely choose a full leather bag like this over a Prada shoulder bag, for example, which have been incredibly popular. This is just going to be a little bit more timeless. And I think Bulgari in general is a brand, I know a lot of you have contacted me, that a lot of people are looking at more and more because the price points aren't at Chanel, but we do still have a focus on really great quality pieces. Whew, this is one hell of a video. We are right near the end, guys. So bag number 18 is actually, um, I didn't do a poll on this one, but I will be doing when I've got a better picture because I would love to get your thoughts on this. In fact, let me know down below in the comments. The Louis Vuitton bum bag was discontinued. Let me grab mine to show you. So this is the old style bum bag. I have the world tour version. So mine actually has black leather on it. And this is a really popular style of bum bag. Uh, Khloe Kardashian, for example, lots of celebrities have been wearing it. And it is like, just so usable. This was discontinued and a lot of people were kind of like, why are Louis Vuitton discontinuing it? And it is because they have been waiting to release a new version of the bag and we have a picture. It's not a very good one, but we do have a picture. It has a guitar strap with it. It kind of looks like maybe this will double up as a shoulder and crossbody bag as well. So it won't just be a bum bag. What do we think to this? We have an additional pocket on the front. I think this will be slightly more practical, but I think it's overall, aesthetic doesn't really compare to the original bum bag. I still love the look of this one, but it'll be exciting to see it in person. And finally, bag number 19, which I'm sure will be being released soon and has got the most 
thumbs up in terms of percentages with 63% of you saying you love this bag. This is a Louis Vuitton Capucine bag. Now I am a fan of the Capucine bag. I have my BB here and I have my two mini sizes here. Now this wicker one was spotted in some pictures on Instagram from a press day. We do not know any details yet in terms of how much it costs. Again, when I know, I will share if Louis Vuitton decide to put this into production, but I think they will. I love that the logo on the front is gold as well, and it looks like the leather on it will be a dark brown. This is a real contender for the Lady Dior wicker bags, and I actually think the Capucine, overall, I just like the aesthetic of this a lot more than the Lady Dior wicker one, especially because it doesn't have like a logo on the front of it but the Dior ones were incredibly popular if you live in a warmer climate I think you could maybe justify one of these bags here in the UK I don't know if I would get much use out of it and also traveling with a wicker bag they don't fold down so they can be a bit tricky to put into hold of an aeroplane, for example. And I have no doubt that this will actually come with quite a hefty price tag. We have seen huge price increases on the Capucine bags over the years. I estimate it will be around six to $7,000 in the US, but we will have to wait and see. I can see why this is the most loved. I think it's also mine. But I have a bonus bag that I wasn't going to include in this video. I literally made a reel yesterday and it featured this bag and I couldn't not put it in because out of all the bags we have gone through today, this is the one that is most firmly on my wish list. And here it is. I do not know the name of this bag. We have no details in terms of price, but it was on the runway in like a caramel color, a white color, and also a red. Now it's a very boxy style, which is so in right now, a bit like the Gucci equestrian that we have just seen and also the Celine Teen Triumph bag, which is a bag that I have seriously been considering. It looks like that, but with Louis Vuitton's twist on it, because it has the lock on the front and then also the metal bits on the side, making it look a bit more like a piece of luggage. Now, I think this is going to be one of the most popular bags out of this entire video that we have seen. And again, I will keep you all updated over on my Instagram. So if you aren't following me already, head over there and give me a follow. I estimate that this will retail at around two and a half thousand dollars, I think. And I think it's going to be a more kind of elegant, a little bit more low key, but you can still tell it's Louis Vuitton, uh, alternative to the Pochette Matisse, which has been one of the historic favorites. Will you be adding any of these bags to your wish list? Let me know in the comments down below. The bags that came out the worst in all of this were the Ferragamo Wonder Bag and the Prada Antique Tote Bag. So it's pretty safe to say, unless you love these bags, we can stay safely away from them. And the most popular bags were the Louis Vuitton Wicker Capucine. And then we also have the YSL Calypso bag with a 50-50 split. You can currently pre-order this. I've no doubt it will be in stores very soon. Now make sure you don't go anywhere because coming up next, I'll link my latest video release here for you. And over here, we are going luxury shopping in London. There is so much eye candy and inspiration in this video. Enjoy. <laughs> 